Hello guys, Termex here. Welcome back to another episode of Warframe for Noobs. In today's video, I want to talk about Rivens, how to get them, and basically how they work. By the end of this video, you will know everything about them, so let's get straight into it. So the first thing I do want to make clear is that Rivens are a extension of your mods. And by that I mean, when you do mod things within Warframe, you have different mod slots and different mod capabilities. So, when I go over to something like my Synapse, which is over here, and we look over to the Upgrade tab, for every weapon you will have a riven disposition now this changes the performance stats of a certain weapons rivens and basically what this means is the more popular weapons in the warframe community will have less dots and the more unpopular weapons will have more but why is this important well the more dots a weapon has the stronger the riven stats will be so for example the synapse isn't very popular at the moment in terms of player usage rate so i get a whopping 260 percent critical hit chance and a 185 percent critical damage but let's say that the synapse turns meta and everybody's using it within a month and the river disposition goes down to a one this will probably be plus 120 critical chance and maybe plus 88 critical damage right that's what a riven disposition is and there's nothing you could really do to change that if a weapon is popular it's popular if it's not it's not and that's kind of an unknown factor at the time of a meta or usage rate nothing you could do to change that but how do you get rivens in the first place well most rivens are obtained from bounties they could be obtained from daily missions they could be obtained from syndicates but most of the time you're going to get them from sorties as well so when you go over to your navigation and you go over to your main things which is the sorties on the far right when you look over into the possible rewards the very common one is a riven mod and now riven mods are categorized into three different subsets i mean there is kind of a fourth which is arc rivens like arc guns and arc wings but i'm not going to get into arc wings in today's video because that's a whole other bag of worms but let's just go over the main things for rivens which is going to be your melee weapons your secondary weapons and your primary weapons but yes there's a pistol riven mod there's a kit gun but the main ones that you're going to focus on early on as a new player are going to be melee rifle which is primary and then shotgun is another subcategory because shotguns are going to be uncategorized from the primary space i do not know why they did this i don't know the full story behind it but they are different you're not going to get shotguns from a primary and you're not going to get primary from a shotgun so want to make that clear as well but let's say you get these riven mods how the hell do you unlock them well most riven mods you have to unveil and they will have different challenges so the shotgun riven mod says find three caches without being disrupted by magnetic damage so i had to pop this shotgun riven onto any one of my shotguns it doesn't matter the weapon you put the rivens on does not change what weapon it will roll with so don't think just because i have a rifle riven mod on my soma that when i unveil it it's going to be for my soma that's not how it works no matter what weapon you use it will be completely random anyone telling you different just got lucky and they believe that there's a connection when there's not so pop this on to whatever respective category you need to do and do the challenge itself unveil it and let's say you get something good let's say you get something you want to keep i would level it up but what you really want to do is roll for a god roll so what's a god roll you may ask a god roll in the community is generally looked upon as a plus plus negative roll where the two pluses are going to be damage crit damage status damage whatever the weapon strength really is and a minus effect that is not that big of a deal why would you want a minus effect term why not a triple positive well a triple positive positive riven will give lower damage stats than a double positive single negative because that single negative will actually make the double positive even stronger a good example of this is my synapse riven to where my negative corpus damage which isn't a big deal will make my crit damage and crit chance even better now as you can see on the bottom right of these rivens this one has been rolled 114 different times so yes it could take a really long time to get these rivens to the state where you want them it's all a game of luck and another thing i should mention you do have to be a certain mastery rank to even use some of these rivens as you can see with my synapse i do have to be mastery rank 13 my rubico is mastery rank 9 my wolf sledge is 15 and yada yada so make sure you pay attention to this when you're buying rivens from other people or just unveiling your own and you're curious to why you can't put it on so term how do i even re-roll my rivens in the first place well you need this thing called kuva when you get later into the game you will realize the importance of kuva i'm not going to have any story spoilers on where it comes from or its origins or the mission type just for the fact that if i tell you where to get it and how to get it it will have story spoilers and this is a new player's welcoming to the game so i'm not going to spoil the story for you when you're looking for a guide but look up the best ways to get kuva the best kuva farms might even be one of my own videos on this in the future in the top right i'll add it in but when you do this you want to cycle the riven mod so the way this works is you get a cool little pop-up and i will take a chance here i will cycle this wolf sledge riven and get a random riven it'll consume my kuva 
And as you can see, I did get plus 1.8 range, 60% additional combo count chance, and a 97% status duration. Eh, it's not great. It's not as good as my old one in my personal opinion. So this is the part where you can choose where you want to keep your old one or select a new one. And this is basically the cycle of Rivens. As you can see, the number change in the bottom right to four. And now the next roll is even more expensive, costing me 1700 Kuva. And now we got more slash, more range, we got more status duration, but minus combo duration. Wolf Sledge isn't slash, not really a lot of range, combo duration, not really that big of a deal. So I'm going to keep the old one. Looks like I probably only roll two more times here, so we're going to see what this gives me. Um, oh wow. That, uh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> Holy shoot. Okay, so we got almost a 100% more status effect chance, a 70% attack speed bonus, a 200% critical hit chance, and that's times two for heavies, but almost a minus 50% damage to Grenier. But that minus 50% damage is kind of going to be negated DPS-wise by the 70% attack speed. So that that's really good i do not mind that i'm actually gonna save my kuva because i really do like this role i'm gonna try that out with my wolf sledge because that is pretty cool i got that on camera as well so yeah cool they are decently expensive to level up so if i go over to i almost sold the mod i just rolled <laughs> but if we go over to level this up to max level it is going to be a pretty penny worth of credits and endo but honestly it's not as bad as prime mods to where you're spending like 10 million of everything just to get it to max level but i really do hope that this helped you guys better understand rivens how to get them and what their main purpose in the game is if you have any more questions please let me know in the comments down below as i am here to help you guys and spread more information and if you have any more ideas for the warframes for noob series let me know in the comments down below but thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it make sure you guys leave a like on it as it spreads my videos morale to the warframe community and make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on another video from me but you have a terrific day and i will see you guys later